right, uh, welcome to this new tutorial on using artificial intelligence with Unity. Uh, this is part two in our series of artificial intelligence tutorials. Uh, our, our part one involved steering algorithms and we learned how to take this cube and fembot and have them follow each other around. In this uh, tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to now incorporate pathfinding. And the beauty about pathfinding is that Unity actually has pre-built uh, plugins for us to use to be able to do pathfinding. Now, uh, what we're going to do in this project uh, is uh, we're going to have this cube follow Fembot everywhere. But you notice that we have a bit of a track here, right? Uh, we have uh, these cylinders, which are solid walls, essentially. And we're going to ensure that the cube does not pass through either of these walls. But I'm actually going to uh, throw a wrench into it and let Fembot go anywhere she wants. So you can go anywhere inside this little area inside, but the cube will have a fun time or difficult time trying to find her or follow her. So we're going to take advantage of build, using nav, nav mesh. Now I have to tell you, nav, nav, nav mesh I've found to be a bit of a heavy process. Uh, it, uh, if you have a weaker computer, you could find yourself waiting a little bit of a little bit of time between updating and hitting play and clicking on different things and stuff. So I did find a little bit of a lag in using Unity every so often when I incorporated Nav Mesh. It is a, I mean AI is no small feat uh, in itself. It took decades and decades and decades of coding and research to get AI up and running to where it is today. Uh, so. So, and to have machines today that can actually process uh, AI algorithms. So it's, it's no small feat. And if you have a weaker computer, you will be experiencing delays. So what we'll do is uh, we'll start into incorporating nav mesh. Now, the first thing to do is to go to Unity's website and uh, GitHub, actually GitHub page and download nav mesh. All right, so uh, the link is here. We're going to go to github.com slash unity dash technology slash nav mesh components. And what you're going to do is you're going to download uh, download the entire branch. So you just go to code uh, and just hit download zip. And wherever you download it to, unzip that. And you're going to need a specific folder uh, that we'll talk about in a sec. So go ahead and download it right now. Pause the video if you have to uh, to, to download this file and unzip it in a location, most likely your downloads folder. All right, and so now once you've downloaded it, I, uh, I have it saved here under Nav Mesh Components Master. I'm gonna go inside of it. We have here a typical, what looks like a Unity project. I'm gonna go inside Assets, and there's this folder called Nav Mesh Components. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I already have in this window uh, my Unity project as well. Uh, so you can see here there's uh, animations, models, scenes, scripts, and textures. I'm just going to actually copy and paste it here. Okay, so it's going to do is copying. All right, now it's copied over all of the nav mesh stuff that I need. I'm just going to bring my Unity window back into focus, give it a moment to actually do its thinking, bring itself back in. Uh, to uh, to bring these new components into into our uh, into our project. Now, while it's doing that, let's talk about the project itself. So, if you want to follow along in this tutorial, basically, uh, what you need is you really don't even need terrain. I just made some sort of fancy terrain, and forgive my my pixelated terrain here. <laughs> I just didn't have the energy to to fix it up. Uh, to look beautiful because the focus here is on artificial intelligence not on on terrain that's a totally separate video tutorial which you can look up on on the channel uh, in the meantime basically what you want to have is some sort of path like I have here uh, I have these I have these cylinders right to make a path I have fembot right there which uh, has which has uh, which has character controller built into it, and already has character ability, uh, control ability to move keyboard keys up, down, left, and right. So we've already taken care of that. So you want to have a character that moves around the screen and just throw a cube also onto it. Uh, so that's your basic setup. So set up the project any way you wish, but basically you want to have something here uh, to be able to control and move your characters around. So uh, we have now uh, 
brought in nav mesh and what we want to do now is we want to bring uh, we want to add ai to uh to our our editor here so if we go to a window you'll see a, a component called ai and navigation so let's bring that in and i'm going to add that here under my inspector i actually already had it but just to show you how to add it that's how you bring in the navigation uh, sorry, the nav, the nav, yeah, the navigation uh, window here under AI. All right. Now, what we want to do is we need to specify uh, all of our all of our obstacles. All right, as uh, navigation static. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring up the hierarchy, and I have here walls. I already have like a. A, an empty game object walls that represents everything here, but I'm actually going to click control click on everything here just to bring it all into focus. So these are all the pieces of my, of my, of my walls here. All right. Now there's this checkbox called navigation static. It's under the object category. So I'm going to check off navigation static. All right. That will, that will tell nav mesh that these are obstacles. All right, so now the next step uh, after we set things to navigation static is to add something called a nav mesh surface. So nav mesh surface is basically telling us it's it's in a nutshell the floor, right? That that's really what you're thinking about here. It's a it's a, it's the floor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a nav mesh uh, a nav mesh surface component to our project by going to game object. All right, going all the way down to AI, and you can see there's nav mesh surface. All right, so we've added a nav mesh surface component to our project. You can see it right down here at the bottom. Now, we need to specify what our surface is because right now it's just in the project. But we we don't we don't really know what the floor is. I mean, we have the terrain here. This is our floor, but nav mesh doesn't know that. So now we have to click on our terrain, or if you're or if you have a plane for a floor, that's perfectly fine as well. All right. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to add a component called nav mesh surface. I'm going to hit add component and ser search for nav mesh surface. There it is right there. So we're going to add nav mesh surface component to our, uh, to our uh, project. All right. Now, one thing that's important about this, and I'm going to leave it to the basic settings here, is I'm going to expand advanced. And you notice that default area must be set to walkable all right so make sure that if it isn't it most likely is but if it isn't uh, set it to walkable all right now if i scroll down here we need to do is we need to hit bake all right and now here's the thing that that's important here all right uh make sure you only single click it like that don't double click it i don't know if it's a bug in unity uh May, um, I haven't checked in 2020 to see if they fixed it in 2020, but I know for 2019, if I click this bake button again, it'll just do baking a second time. And then your computer will really, really bugger down and slow down and wait. I know because I did this by accident because I looked and I was like, nothing's happening. But it actually, it actually added the line just sort of off screen for me here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to wait and get this thing to 100%. So go grab a coffee, pause the video and uh, and wait until it's done. All right, so that took about two and a half hours. Uh, so hopefully you went and actually had lunch and heck, maybe even had dinner and came back and and uh, your baking was probably done by now. But but we have now baked our nav mesh uh, into into our uh, game world here. Basically, all that's going on with with baking the nav mesh is that uh, it's doing all these calculations to figure out what's walkable, what's not walkable, where are the obstacles. And it's using and it's calculating its own uh, pathfinding algorithm uh, to to figure out which where where and where our agents can go. And so uh, it does all this all this calculation. It takes a lot of processing. It's a very heavy process. It's using the A star algorithm to do that. The A star algorithm for pathfinding, which you can look up, uh, you can Google it and 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 see what it's all about. But it's trying to make decisions on the paths that it wants to go to. Now, our path is very our path is very simple. It's just a square, right? So it's just going around this uh, this uh, this road, so to speak, over here, and that's all it's doing. 
So that, uh, but if you had a more elaborate, uh, a more complex game world, you might be taking longer to do the calculations, right? So it, 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 it's basically trying to figure out where to go. All right, so now that our walkable surface is set up, uh, now we need to add some control to the cube. Now let's set it up so that the character is, uh, is, is being chased by this cube through nav mesh. Now, the first thing I wanna do is I actually wanna take Fembot from over there and just move her further away just so that uh, when we're running this thing, right, it uh, actually, I think I hit the wrong, let's just do control Z because yeah, it disappeared on me. Yeah, that's better. I just want to move it over, say around here. So at least when we hit play, it's going to take a little bit of time to get to her as opposed to being so close that it automatically chases her down. So, all right, so we have that. Now let's set up our cube to be a nav mesh agent, all right? But to do that, let's add a, let's add a couple of settings to the cube. So let's click on the cube for a second here. Uh, we're going to add a rigid body. And we're gonna enable gravity to be, uh, uh, to be unchecked. I don't want this thing falling through the floor. Uh, I just want it to be above ground on its height where it is where, with a Y of one. I just want to maintain that, all right? Uh, so we're gonna add the rigid body, all right? Now that's the first thing. The second thing we're gonna add is a nav mesh component called nav mesh agent. So I'm gonna say search for nav mesh and there's agent right there, all right? And so here's nav mesh agent and you can see all the settings. I'm actually gonna leave it at the default settings here uh, because uh, what I wanna do is I wanna uh, just, you, you, I mean, you could tune on your own time, speed, angular speed, acceleration. Maybe you wanna have a harder cube that moves faster uh, and you have to really keep moving to, 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 uh, to get it to, to keep up. Uh, so, so you play with these settings on your own time to, to see what it's like. Uh, but essentially just adding nav mesh agent is enough to tell the game that, hey, this is the guy that's gonna start chasing down what you need to chase down. Now, we need to set something up to chase things down. Well, what we're gonna do is we're going to set up a new script. Uh, we're gonna call it M Enemy Navigation Script. So I have here my, actually, let's go to Project, and we're gonna go to Scripts, and I'm gonna add a new script. All right, I'm gonna call this script uh, Enemy Navigation Script. Give it a second to think. All right, and double click on the script to open up in Visual Studio. And the script will be very simple. All right, let's first declare a couple of class variables here. So we'll say uh, public transform player. All right, and the second will be uh, uh, unity engine dot AI dot nav mesh agent I'm gonna call it nav all right I could have probably just said using unity dot AI uh, but uh, we'll go this way all right so we have here our two uh, our two class variables so one's gonna be the player uh, that and this is essentially be fembot because we're gonna be chasing fembot all the time all right and our nav mesh agent will be uh, our, our cubes nav mesh agent. Uh, so we're basically, if, if you can't figure it out, we're gonna, we're actually going to add this, uh, we're gonna add this script to our cube, all right? So first things first, we'll start off with in start and we'll say nav equals uh, get component of unity engine dot AI dot nav mesh agent. All right, and in update, we're gonna say nav dot set destination. That's it, just this method called set destination for player dot position. That's it for our script. So this script is basically saying, all we're gonna do is chase down 
or just move to wherever the player is. So I keep moving Fembot around. It's just going to keep moving and moving and moving. All right. So now let's attach the script to Fembot. So I'm just going to save here, switch back to my game world, let it think and let it uh, refresh and update. All right, so now uh, let's add this script to our cube. So I'll switch over to hierarchy and let's highlight our cube. So our cube over there and let's add this new script. So we call it enemy navigation script and it's asking for player. Player will just be fembot. All right. All right, so finally, now that we've added the script, the last thing to do is actually run this game thing and test it out. So let's switch over to the game tab first of all. Let's get the game into our view and hit the play button. Now, it is a bit of a heavy process. So the first time around running this thing, it may take a while to actually run. So you might actually be waiting here, sitting here for a while, but and you might be wondering if your computer is hanging. It's, it's not. It's just, I think nav mesh is just, such a heavy beast that in the background that it takes it takes its time to actually get your game up and running so grab a tea grab a coffee grab something and just you know wait it out and there you should see the cube it's chased down fembot now let's actually let's move fembot around and you see the cube is following fembot wherever she goes now watch this i'm gonna send fembot in the middle you see it's kind of stuck it's stuck behind that wall. Let me bring Fembot into, let's see here, like bring Fembot in, into the into view here, somewhere I can see there, it's caught up. Now you see it's actually following Fembot constantly. And again, it gets stuck at the, at the edges. So you can see it's actually following its path but it's constantly following. Now let me change, go the other way. See, it just changed direction. Now let me see here, put it back there. You can see Fembot is safe behind the, the little wall there. The cube can't get through. Yeah, don't, re don't mind the Y level of this. It's kind of funny there, but the idea here is that it's actually following constantly. So there you have it. Uh, you have uh, your little introduction into nav mesh there isn't much to do. It's actually a lot of the AI is basically done for you. You just have to add components, do a couple little simple configurations. I think waiting might be the only challenge depending on how powerful or weak your computer is uh, or how many resources are in use, right? So that's the challenge there. Other than that, basically nav mesh is, is very easy to get up and running. There isn't, there isn't a lot of heavy lifting to do on your part. Uh, but this is only the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more to nav mesh. There's nav mesh links, like you can have separate worlds uh, that that link together. Uh, you could have one area be normal walking like this, another area be like lava, where you have to walk slowly through it, or like or like muck, like walking through muck, and you you know it's very difficult to walk through. So your terrain could be much different. But there's a lot more to nav mesh uh, than meets the eye. But this is enough here, what we've shown you today, uh, to be able to get up and running, to get nav mesh uh, together. All right, uh, so that's it for today's tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share uh, with, with those around you. And uh, our next tutorial will be our third and final one on artificial intelligence. Uh, so until then, take care, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.